Hi Thomas, this is the Hilux. Uh, so I'll do a video for you. So here it is. Um, this is one of our three yards here in Cairns. So we've got a new Toyota, new Lexus, and two used car yards. We've normally got a lot more on, on the lot than this. We um, must be selling too many of them, I think. Good problem to have. So you're asking if it was a winch compatible bar. Um, to me, that looks like a yes. So, I'll take you through and show you the tyres and wheels. Exterior. Just a bit of buffing compound that. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll just um great thing about having it on the ramps is you can show you underneath. So we haven't sprayed it with black or anything. I mean if it's been off-road and been flogged, a lot of the sort of stickers and that you don't get to see they're all muddy and dirty and horrible. Um, it's all pretty uh, pretty crisp. So it's a good sign. Uh, these drawers, now if you know your stuff, you know these aren't cheap. That's the tow bar, mate. Um, the tow ball itself is actually just the one part of it. Um, it's about six different parts of a tow bar assembly, but um, that doesn't look like it's actually here. Um, now I'm sure. They're only about 80 bucks for the tow ball anyway, so. Exterior's good. Bonnet's good. Um, let's have a look at the roof. See, when a car's got roof racks, it always pays to check and make sure that people haven't dropped anything on there. They don't look like they've been used. So, I mentioned to you, spare keys, we've got them both here. Well, the keys, there's only 31 spare because it's two in total. So I parked that nice and close. Doors. So that doesn't look as though it's had any use either. Put the phone down for a sec, mate. I'll have a look when I finish the video. The tow bar might be hidden under the seat and if there's a compartment there. I can't remember if there is or there isn't. Floor mat set. Push button start. I'm gonna fire it up. So just to prove to you that it does start. Camera on it. So, as I said, we um, sold the car new, that's us. Um, still falls under your cap price servicing while it's under the new car warranty. I think it's 180 bucks from memory. So we've serviced it at 7,000, 14,000, 21,000. Everything that came with the car was with it. Um, books are actually like, there's your keys for your canopy. Um, books are actually really tidy. Usually if a car's been knocked around a little bit, you can. The books actually get a bit worn in the in the glove box. Um, but it says the airbag set, sat nav, voice control, Bluetooth, cruise control. I mean, if you've been looking at these for a little while, you know a bit. You know plenty about them. There's the cup holders in front of the air vents to keep the apple juice cold. I'm just close her up. Under the bonnet. So again, a few telltale signs of a car's been through rough stuff. A lot of these little, like see here, um, they'll be pitting um, on the nuts and bolts, bits and pieces, and you'll see stains in the firewall and that, and that fabric uh, in that stuff just there. Tidy. Which is 
a very clean truck. Um, I don't imagine there'd be a whole lot to be unhappy with. Um, we actually listed it first at 53,990, but we um, did a bit of research and then uh, it really not much. So um, that's come directly from the general salesman. So just put it out there cheap and we'll sell it quickly, and that, so that's what we've done. So. Thanks for watching the video and um, any other questions, just let me know. I'll um, get to work and get in your crew pretty quickly and uh, get you in at ASAP.